What a difference a few weeks make. I feel like we've been saying that a couple different times. <laughs> I mean, think about it. I, it just it, Throughout the course of the season, sometimes teams are on the rise, sometimes they're on the down. And right now, this is a Cal football program that a few weeks back we thought was really on the rise. A couple losses, and now we're, we've got some concern. Meanwhile, USC seems like they've turned the corner. Your former squad, a huge we'll win see. against the number three team in the country in Utah, and the team in turmoil won't well, say no more. Circling back to Cal here, though, are you ready to hit this panic button against a Trojans team that seems to be coming on strong? No. We're not going to hit the panic button, but we are going to hit the drop bombs button. We need Jared Goff. Drop those bombs. Press that button. Where is the real Jared Goff? Please stand up. We need that guy back. First five games, best quarterback in the country. I mean, it was crazy. First round lock. The last couple weeks, not so much. So we need the Golden Boy back if we're going to get our chance to get back into the win column. Also, receivers got to take advantage of a well-coached but young USC secondary. And finally, Cal, first five games undefeated, plus nine in the turnover margin column. Last two games, minus two, two losses. So if you want to win the Battle of Troy, you got to win the turnover battle. Yeah, they do, but USC has to put pressure on golf, and that's how you create turnovers from Cal. You put pressure on the quarterback and make him throw where he doesn't want to throw. Nigel, you just mentioned a young secondary, so they're going to need help from the front seven to put pressure on him. But offensively, they can take some pressure off the defense by controlling the clock and running the football like they did last week. 45 rush attempts. Now, I know it was only 116 yards, but they got four touchdowns out of it. Cody Kessler was 21 for 28 for 260 yards, 64 yards, a touchdown, no interception. Probably his most efficient game all year because they were able to run the ball and the pressure wasn't on Cody. USC can win this football game if they bring that same recipe they brought to Utah. If you're calling that his most efficient game, that's saying something because coming into the season, he for USC, he was and the most efficient quarterback ever at the program. That's speaking volumes. Yep. Ever, ever. Forever, ever? Forever, ever, ever. ever. <laughs> it's a really long time, I guess is the whole point of that. That'll wrap things up for inside our studios. Don't forget, for everything that's happening around the conference, all you have to do, follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks. And at the end of the night, for a full breakdown of SC and Cal, it's Pac-12 Farming Score.